Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripeman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, use soft selections, magnets, and displacement mapping to mod our models. Uh, but before I do, I, I wanted to acknowledge that uh, uh, my YouTube channel has reached over 500 subscribers and in the uh, YouTube universe, it's not a whole heck of a lot, really. But I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for checking my stuff out. I really really do. Uh, it's just a crappy little thing that I do and I was just kind of using it as a reference for myself but uh, yeah uh, yeah. thanks for checking it out. GK Dantas for uh, putting my stuff on the on the uh, Carrera Cafe which is an awesome reference people if you're not using it as a reference you need to go over there and check it out every once in a while. You know show some love. Um, and uh, Dartenbeck. Man you are the biggest uh, cheerleader of our cause, I think, ever. Uh, he he compiled a list of a bunch of tutorials uh, at the uh, at the DAS site and the career discussion forum. He's compiled this long list. A lot of work went into it. Thanks, Dart, for that, and thanks for being such a cheerleader for my stuff. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, man, 500 subscribers, not a whole lot. If I had you all in a room, though. Uh, to me that would be a lot so yeah that's that's cool appreciate you guys thanks now let's get to our let's get to our thing this is the 3d universe uh, stick figure guy and I've modified him I put shading domains on him it's yeah uh, I made him my guy and you can get your uh, stick figure guy for free at 3d universe you just download it and uh, it's your guy and there's a lot of other cool stuff there the low res girl is very cool too. There's no morphs or anything, but you just check it out. She's worth downloading just to check out how the modeling process brought her about. Okay, uh, but we're not we're not about that. We're about um, the 3D stick figure guy, right? So let's go ahead and jump in here and do symmetry. And since I dropped him in into my content, the last thing I did, I I had his head selected. And so his head's already selected, which is very uh, convenient for this tutorial. So there's a couple of different things that you can do. If you want to mod this guy, you want to make it make his make a shape that you know looks human or whatever. You can do that by selecting your vertices, lines, or polygons, and then you can grab your your magnet and it works if you have poser the magnet in here works kinda like posers in that uh, you can see a sphere of influence it's not as it's not as uh, versatile as posers but you know it's it's an older magnet right and that's cool you can oh wow look you can grab this you can grab a vertice and do the same thing and it it basically works around the uh, the influence areas right see that see that and that's kinda cool uh, and this has been this has been the way that you do that for a long time and this little guy right here we've already kinda touched on him a little bit and was given a restraining order <laughs> not to ever do that again but you got your uh, uh, displacement mapping and this is a very cool way to manipulate your stuff. What's going on here? There we go. See that? Out, in, very manipulating, right? Let's see what we got. Yeah, see that? Starting to have a little shape in the face. It's kind of good. No, I mean, it's not good, but <laughs> it's kind of good that it does that, right? All right, so we got these guys. Now, the the main thing that I want to hit on, and uh, G, GK Dantas has hit there. I, I was actually, before I started doing this, I'm like, has anybody else done this? And GK Dantas has done one too. But, uh, yeah, this is just my version. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes ever at, on this. Uh, so, anyway, down in this little box right here below, all this stuff that you normally just hit the play with the top or this middle, middle part, uh, if you haven't played with this part, the manipulator area, it, it does some pretty cool stuff. 
uh, you can hide your manipulator in this area and check like our manipulator is in world space it's using world space as as coordinates so you can uh, do this you know move things around in uh, the world space this is the default probably what we've all used over and over again you got your camera space your camera is on an on an X and a it, it's actually a Y plane but we're, we're gonna call it Z because that's the way Carrera does it in most things it's like uh, the Y plane but this is the Z plane and no matter where you move your camera your manipulator is always going to be facing up and down and side to side right or you can go off the selection if your selection is in a in a weird angle your manipulator will go at that angle see that but the coolest part about the manipulator area is your soft selection area and if you haven't used this oh my god I've, I've been overlooking this for years I mean seriously years uh, this is our this is our soft selection tool uh, if you push soft selection and the default value that it's on is is an influence of three don't know what the units are but it doesn't matter because uh, see how that is right there a little bit less a little bit less and your sphere your influence starts in the middle and then the influence decreases away from the uh, away from your vert your uh, polygon but vertices yeah you could do vertices too come on baby let's do a vertice right here and see from out from the middle of this manipulate it up and down this is really you know, this isn't going to come out pretty let me give you a spoiler alert this is not going to be pretty um, let's do the world do some soft selection things and this is good for like modifying if you have just a, a sphere if you're trying to get a face shape oh yeah this is a good way to go you can do your soft selections and then uh, move your stuff around Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> Let's pretend he's an alien. Can we do that? Let's pretend he's an alien. Uh, yeah, and you see how it, when you pull this stuff, it does. Your everything is warped pretty much exactly. You know, according to whatever the math is from the middle to the to the end of the influence, right? And so you got some really cool things you can do with that. Manipulate it. Change the softness. however much influence you want to put in here that's what you got we got a train coming and so at that I just before they it gets here I just want to say thanks for uh, checking out my stuff um, and yeah thanks for uh, you know being a part of this I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit more uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more this year I'm gonna do a little bit more this year I swear to God I am and uh, everybody's gonna check it out and I hope that you dig it uh, I got a, a bunch of things that I, I'd like to have coming up and I just need to get on them so anyway and yeah and I, I know that 500 people don't check out this thing all the time but uh, it is appreciated that's it for this time I'm Crate man and I'll talk to you again later bye